Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be interviewing my Sephora kid sister. Um, she is younger than me and she's currently at primary school so that's kind of her age range. Um, and she wears like makeup Anywhere. and oh, sorry. It's fine. And she wears skincare as kind of uh, an example of her skincare stuff. I'm just going to be interviewing her to kind of see how wearing makeup and skincare affects her body image, so kind of why she's wearing this stuff and how it's affected the younger generation. Okay, so what name would you like me to refer to you as? Amy. Amy, okay, and you can refer to me as Lucy. These are not our real names, these are just fake names because you want to have some sort of level of privacy, okay? Yeah. So, how long ago would you say that you started to wear makeup and Le stuff? Less than a year, I mean. Mm -hmm. So, how often do you wear makeup? Well, I don't normally wear, mm -hmm. like, blush or foundation or, like, highlighter and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't have, like, the serious, like, bronzer and all that stuff. But, um, I just, like, normally, every day or so, I wear, like, a lip balm or a lip gloss and sometimes, like, maybe some eyebrow gel. Oh, okay. So, if we're just, like, a normal school week, what would, can you show my viewers, like, kind of, pick for items what would you normally wear um i would normally like have black okay so is this just every day what about your lip gloss is this that, that's thing? lip oil oh okay i don't wear that for school but okay do you wear any is this mascara no it's not mascara it's eyebrow gel but it's it can lush. be it can be used okay. for your eyelashes so is this just you wear this every single day to school Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Sometimes I don't, like, so wear anything. So, what, how many days a week, so let's say five days, how many yeah. days out of that would you wear makeup? Like, every single day, just one day? Yeah, it depends what kind of makeup you mean. Like, like just this, oh, this stuff. Probably. Sometimes uh, I miss one or two days. Okay, so, that's about 60% of the time. Yeah. So, 60 days of the time you're wearing makeup to school? Sort of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, um... How many girls in your class would you say, like, percentage, like, most of them, none of them, all of them, um, wear makeup? All of them. So every single girl? Yeah. Okay, that's quite worrying. I mean, that you're, like, really young children. Yeah, I don't wear, like, proper foundation mm -hmm. and blush to school, but other people in my class do. They wear, like, mascara, blush, foundation, yeah. like, all that stuff. Would you say that... Um, wearing this makeup, do you think it's affected any of these girls' bodies? Um, at all? I feel like it kind of has because mm -hmm. they are also wearing concealer, and concealer isn't needed. It's mainly for like spots when you're older, yeah. and they don't have spots currently, oh, okay. um, unless they're covering it up. So I think it's making them a bit like, like self-conscious. Yeah, uh -huh. and they're getting like I don't know the word, but do any of these girls um? Of any like what age would you say these girls kind of starting to wear makeup to like date boys to um, talk about boys and like I wanna well these what kind of sense um well this year especially there has been mm -hmm. a bit of like drama there are crushes mm. I mean I don't have a crush personally but there have been crushes and stuff there have but like obviously some people are, like asking people out but it's like yeah. you're you too know, young you can't yeah date it's not people a serious thing i mean they break up well they break up like instantly yeah. it's not a serious like an actual relationship like yeah i mean me personally i'm in secondary school i'm not a year seven i'm older than that but you see these fresh out of a womb year sevens they are Wearing heavy amounts of makeup, and I think when you're that age, you're that young, that it's kind of, that's going to damage you, kind of psychologically, because you're being, okay, well, I have to wear this to be pretty. I'd say majority of the girls in my year group, also in just my school, because my school's quite a big school, are wearing makeup, and I think... I've got nothing against that, but I think there's, like, a lot of money in the industry <coughs> pressurising young children. Like, have you seen those five-year-olds who are wearing heavy makeup? Yeah, they're wear on, like, TikTok. Mm -hmm. They're wearing, like, contour, like, concealer yeah. that I don't even wear. I mean, that's worrying. And the fact that they're allowed TikTok when they're really young. Like, I'm not even allowed TikTok. Yeah. Would you say that young girls wearing makeup, would you say it's an issue? 
I think it it's not a new thing. I mean, there mm -hmm. ha there's always girls that have an interest in like yeah. stuff like that. But I think having like a full face of makeup when you're very young is not a great like impression to people. Yeah, I say also um the parents. Yeah, and especially the like parent influencers, mm -hmm. they sometimes pressurize their children to wear makeup and do videos so for money and views, which yeah. is not great for their childhood. Okay, um, so how much money do you think that you've spent? Like in total on all of your kind of makeup and skin. Like and me just buying it or in total. So just like in total, so everything you've got, even um, if you haven't bought it. Okay, I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, so like, okay. Some of it is cheap. Some of it is expensive. Cheap. Okay. Would you say it's like easy for you to get hold of this type of stuff? Yeah. I mean, you could just go to local boots or like mm -hmm. Secret Drug and maybe that. Even like in Tesco's, there's like lip balms and stuff. Okay. When, whenever you go to campus, do you see children kind of around this? I like, do see a lot of children, especially in Boots. I mean, you are still a child. I know, but like younger ones. Younger like ones, in yeah. Boots, um, the other day, there were these children, and in Boots there's like drunk elephant and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even I don't have that. And they've literally like ruined the sections. Like it's actually like kind of a Sephora kid. Mm -hmm. As well as... They were at a foundation section, these two little girls, they're about the age of six or seven, and they were, they were like, getting, they were going to buy this really expensive foundation that, it was, like, also saying that it could help you, like, get rid of wrinkles, and that actually did worry me, though, that yeah. these seven-year-olds are buying that sort of stuff. Firstly, it was, like, £16 for mm. one of the bottles, and, like, Secondly, yeah. there's a lot of money to be made i think yeah pressurizing i mean it's like it's just for parents as well you know yeah like, now we're kind of inflation and stuff but it's gonna affect quite a lot of people's um money i say what do you think kind of like triggered you and maybe your friends of other people in kind of your age group at school to kind of start buying and wearing makeup and putting on skincare well um the one of my friends that she's like the main one that wears mm -hmm. a lot of makeup her older sister who has like a phone and she does that sort of stuff as well she wears makeup obviously she's in high school she's way older than yeah. her but I think she gets the influence from her and I think her older sister gets it from yeah. YouTube and TikTok and stuff. So you say social media <coughs> has played a part in young girls wearing makeup? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I what mean, about for you personally? I think, I, I mean, I did get some of this from social media, but I mm. also got it from my friends and just like going in the shop and like just seeing yeah. it, you know. So especially as um, all of the girls in your class are wearing makeup sets, so and stuff would you say that you felt pressurized you know because everyone else is doing it you should do it too not particularly i mean mm -hmm. i don't wear much makeup to school obviously not as much yeah. as them i mean i don't think i would so ever plan to you think that you're kind of in a sense you're wearing less makeup is that would you say like that's a good thing or a bad thing i don't think it's a good thing but mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's fine just to wear, like, a lip balm or something, yeah, but say, not a full face of makeup. I say a lip balm, that's fine. I'd say you get, you kind of, it's bad when you're spending hundreds and thousands of pounds on some stuff, especially yeah. if you're a young child. I mean, I think that my, per, one, the friend that I was talking about, the one that mm -hmm. has an older sister, I think she doesn't spend too much money because she doesn't get the really expensive brand. She just gets yeah. it from, like, Primark and some cheap, like makeup yeah. shops but if it's cheap isn't but that in worse? total yeah and when mm -hmm. it it's not good to be expensive but it's sometimes it's not good to be cheap either because it could be bad quality and like yeah. ruin your like, i mean skin. also sweatshops and stuff that's a whole other thing yeah you know like how is this stuff getting so cheap is um a lot of people suffering yeah know? it's not I just think. the children's yeah. skin suffering it's the people mm -hmm. that made the product as well yeah. So, yeah, I'd say the whole industry is very sketchy. Yeah, I mean, I agree yeah. with that. It's not the best, especially the very cheap, like, products. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, especially, I'd say, with the sexualization of younger girls, how many, 
like kind of what age or year do you think these girls start to roll up their skirts, wear makeup? Well, people in my class do that, mm-hmm. and they probably started it when they joined in about year five ish. Year five. Yeah, I personally I don't roll up my skirt. Nine. nine yeah, that's, me. that's quite young still. That's really young. Yeah. The other day I was on a FaceTime with my friend and we're going into senior year so we were just trying on our school uh, um, clothes and um, she like showed me her clothes mm-hmm. and like her skirt was so short you could barely see yeah, it. Yeah I'd say uh, most year 7s and like, year 8s and above years like I say everyone's running up their skirt and I say it's quite it shows how kind of it's expected almost for all the girls yeah. to wear skirt. I mean, in my years, got like quite a lot of children. So only probably five kids don't roll up their skirt, and that's like my years really big. Yeah, I mean, um, I personally don't roll up my mm-hmm. skirt, and when she showed me her like new school uniform, I was shocked. To be honest, you could barely mm-hmm. see the skirt. Yeah. Like, it's almost worrying in a way, you know, that these kids are being quite sexualized. I mean, kind of clothing, obviously, like, wear whatever you feel comfortable in, but if you're getting yeah. kind of, like, nine-year-olds rolling up their skirts, it's, it's funny how worrying it is, almost seems like a joke, you know? Yeah, I, like, personally, I do have lip balm and mm-hmm. some makeup and skincare, but I think some people just go really far on it, and it's, like... Mm-hmm sometimes worrying yeah would you you say that um social media has ever kind of affected you to buy anything um not much but i have seen some of the things i already have on social media obviously like this stuff and Uh all that stuff i've never seen on social media um that's mainly just because they're like from like english shops and stuff okay so would you say kind of more american things i mean yeah i don't I try to limit my time um, on YouTube and stuff, but I've seen one of these kind of perfumes. Yeah, I have seen that. I mean, kind of that is not where I have got it, though. Okay. I've actually got it from my friend, and she just, like... Your I, friend? Yeah. Okay. What do you say about your friend's influence by I mean, social media, then? one of them is, like, quite an influence to me. She's older huh? than me. But the other two, like, they don't really influence me. I mean, they they do wear, wear, like, a lot of makeup and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think I don't, like, I say to myself, I don't want to wear this much makeup, so I'm not going to, like, copy mm-hmm. them almost. So they're trying to almost, I guess, break the cycle of, like, younger children being influenced? Yeah, sort of, huh? I guess. Okay. Um, would you say that... Wearing makeup or seeing social media stuff has ever kind of affected your body image? Um, not particularly, okay. I don't think. I mean, I'd say for me it has. I mean, I also would say that if you see in kind of the last, I don't know, like 10, 15 years, you've seen quite like depression and anxiety rates have yeah. skyrocketed. I mean, in, you see, like, especially in school. social media has been used way more yeah especially in schools and stuff like that you know you just like i don't know it's just Mm -hmm. gone too far i guess Mm -hmm. so i would say that social media is being used quite a lot with um our generation the younger generation how many kids in your class would you say have a phone like half of them all of them um well not a lot of quite a bit less than half, but they have, like, other screens that they still okay. watch social media on. I mean, I personally, I remember in about year three, the kids were starting to get phones, some of the kids at my class, I'd say about year three, about half the kids have phones. That's oh. just my personal experience, though. Oh, well, I don't have as, as much as that, like... Uh-huh, okay. You know. I'd say, especially for me, at uh, um, secondary school, i say... All of the children do have a phone. I would be willing to bet that almost all the kids, maybe apart from a few year sevens, have a phone. And that's quite that's quite a high amount of number. 
I mean, if you look at social media usage, I say, I mean, for me, I try to limit my screen time, but I say in, like, for holidays, you know, having, like, five yeah, hours, six my, hours on my phone. My, um, old friend in, like, mm-hmm. year five, um, she had, like, a phone, like, a whole, a whole, like, iPhone 14 oh, or okay. something. And also it's money as well. Something. Yeah, and she brought it into school and she was, like, using it. And I was like, why are you doing it? Yeah. Especially, I say, if I and she, think it stopped. And she was, like, things. making TikToks in the bathroom and oh, stuff. Oh, especially the school uniform thing. I mean, yeah, if she, you go down the rabbit hole, it's quite a... People um, can find... It's like a security risk. Yeah. You see a bunch of children with their school uniform. Yeah, like, mm. I found some people um, on TikTok that have... From my school, and they're, like, literally showing their mm. school uniform. And that's worrying just for their own personal safety, I would say. Yeah. Mm. I I agree. So. I would also say it's quite you know because the amount of content which these kids are going to be consuming. I mean, if you get your phone from let's say year five, how do you like ten, and then that's yeah. like years of your life wasted just scrolling on the phone. If you yeah, I guess yeah. Would you say how how much of what you watch would you say is kind of pressurizing you to buy stuff then? Like ten percent. Ten percent. Okay. Nothing's like saying, "Oh, you have to buy this." Like, I mean, like kind of skincare, makeup. So if it's in like, let's say, trying like an influencer showing off this stuff as, "Oh, you kind of need it or it's useful." Because mm. no, I mean, okay. I think that's never like really happened to me. I mean, they have like said it, mm-hmm. but like I never like be like, "Oh, I want to buy that," you know. I mean, I've been seeing quite a lot of these skincare eight-year-olds, you know. I mean, who's giving these eight-year-olds a phone first thing? It's for parents. Yeah. But there's the overconsumption. It's scary. Yeah. I mean, we're living um inflation as well. I don't know how some of these people were going to afford some of this stuff. If you see yeah. the amount of kind of bulk buying. So instead of maybe having one lip balm, two lip balms, having like 20 different lip balms. We all do different things, but... You know, they're going to go off and stuff. Would you say that um, yeah. you ever buy stuff which you don't need from advertising on social media or with your makeup and stuff? Um, not. Most of it isn't even from, so, um, like, social media and stuff. Okay. So. But would you ever say that you don't, when, let's say, I'm just going going to buy a new lip gloss, let's say, then you don't ever use it or you use it, like, um, twice? Well, when I... I I got this like pack on Amazon. It came with a blush uh-huh. and highlighter and contour, and I've like never used the contour. Uh, yeah, because I'd say especially with like bulk buying. Uh, if you see fast fashion, I mean Sheen, it's absolutely disgusting how they treat their workers. I mean, most fast fashion, I would assume, like Primark. I don't know really any other brands. They yeah, like, they just me. underpay these workers, and it's absolutely disgusting that. Because they make so much money, it's allowed to kind of be hidden. Like, people yeah. know about it, but, you know, it's just... They don't really think about it, if that makes sense, Yeah. Know? Would you say that... Are there any clothes which you've ever brought which you haven't ever worn before? Or kind of, like, an outfit you've only bought for a special occasion? Um, well... I think I once got this, like, T-shirt for Christmas mm-hmm. or something, and I barely ever wear it. But... Oh, did you personally buy it? No. Or a gift? Oh, okay. That's slightly different. Would you say um your friends, you know, like, go to Primark, buy, I don't know, like, 20 T-shirts? This is just an example. They don't ever wear any of that? Um, well, they do have, when I went to their house, they do have, like, a load of clothes. Yeah. They have, like, 20 pairs of shorts, like, different colours, you know, Yeah, it's, it's just wasteful. They're, like, I mean, running ones. Mm. She has, like, every, the whole rainbow of them and stuff. I mean, you but, don't need that. And I'm not sure if they wear it, like, every, like uh-huh. all the time, but I think she has worn it at least once or something. Yeah, i say especially with, like... I mean, I've personally seen a lot of people over-consuming um, tannies and stuff, or they have days where they only wear pink, and it's just... Or only use pink stuff. It's quite bad for the environment, I've seen. Mm, well, when, like, some people wore, like, just pink or just a certain mm-hmm. colour, when... You kn- like Aubrey Watt and stuff. Who's who's that? Um, sorry. It's uh, just the girl that did, um, did suicide, and people like that. Oh, too. that's fun. No, I'm talking yeah. about 
like if you're just it's kind of like oh i'm i've got 50 oh. stanleys here i'm only gonna use my one stanley it's like me talking about oh i'm only gonna buy pink stuff and then i'm only gonna buy blue stuff it's like having to have everything of a specific color if you get that obviously yeah yeah for that that's like a totally different reason you you might wear like a pink t-shirt i'm talking about like buying like everything in like a different color of a rainbow that's just yeah. like multiple buying stuff. oh okay okay sorry it's for that misunderstanding okay well that's the end of our little podcast you think it's been lovely to have you on my channel uh um, thanks okay bye guys please subscribe to my channel um i'm going to be trying to do a new upload schedule where i upload kind of a video more of this style if it gets more views every monday ish anyway bye guys please subscribe